Hello everyone. This is part three of Luke 4, 24 to 27. And this is, I'm going to tell you what we've talked about. And then I'm going to tell you what we're going to talk about. Part one, we talked about how the Lord may have called and yet people still didn't believe. And we showed the event with Elijah and the widow. Part two, we talked about how the Lord may have called people and yet they still don't believe. And we talked about an event with the Syrian Naaman and his leprosy. Part three, we're going to talk how the Lord may have called yet people still don't believe. But this time we're going to deal with Yeshua's own disciple who still didn't believe. Luke 4, 24, 27. And he said, truly, I say to you, no prophet is acceptable in his own hometown. But in truth, I tell you, there are many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the heavens were shut up three years and six months, and a great famine came over all the land. And Elijah was sent to none of them, but only to Zarephath, in the land of Sidon, away from Israel, to a woman who was a widow. And there were many lepers in Israel in the time of the prophet Elisha, and none of them was cleansed, but only Naaman the Syrian, who also was not in Israel. A prophet is acceptable. I say to you, no prophet is acceptable in his hometown. Sometimes people seek people who are far, far away. So this is Jesus appearing to Thomas. So John 20, 24 to 28. This is titled, Jesus appears to Thomas. Now Thomas, also known as Didymus, one of the 12, was not when, with the disciples when Jesus came. So this is after Jesus resurrected. Some disciples have already seen Jesus since he's been resurrected. So the other disciples told him, we have seen the Lord. But well, he said to them, unless I see the nail marks on his hand and put my fingers where the nails were and put my hand into his side. Because he had his hands had had nails there and, and a spear was plucked in the side. I will not believe. I got to see it. I got to feel it. I got to be there. I got to know physically. A week later. His disciples were in the house again, and Thomas was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them. Peace be with you. So Jesus walked through locked doors, walked through the wall. So what it seems in this, this reading. Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, put your finger here. See my hands. Reach out. Put your finger. Reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas said to him, My Lord and my God. And then it continues. Because where is it? It continues at 29. Let me find it. Verse 29. And it continues. Then Jesus told him, because you have seen me, you have believed. But blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen yet have believed. A prophet is accepted everywhere except their hometown. This disciple, Thomas, has seen miracles. All the miracles that Yeshua Jesus had done all the time. It became common to him. He didn't even realize he was in a special time in history. He didn't realize how special this time in was of history was. It was one of the most important times in history. The actual Lord was there. Jesus Christ was there in the flesh. And he was doing all sorts of miracles. Yet he still didn't believe. Sometimes when God is close to us. Like just so close to us, we deny him and we reject him. 
because a prophet is not received to sell out of their hometown. There are things that the Lord has done in my life that have shown me miracles before I receive. But blessed are those who receive him and have not seen miracles. Blessed are those that have seen him. And if you're wondering, if I'm like, I've never seen a miracle, you are a miracle. Your existence is an impossibility according to these Evolutionary scientists, a big bang explosion out of nothing as against the laws of thermodynamics and conservation and mass, they make up stuff. They're a faith. Isn't it much more believable that God, someone who stands outside of time, matter, space, and energy, created time, matter, space, and energy with the words that it says in the beginning, in the beginning time, God created energy and created the heaven space and the earth matter four things all in one he sits outside of time he's in kairos and we are in chronos therefore he was able to create us but you can feel god just by his presence in your life just by your presence in your life but yet some still don't believe. Sometimes he has to take away his presence for you to see him. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Sometimes tragedy and things happen in our life so that we can see God. And so that we repent and get back close to him. If you're experiencing one of those things, seeking ye should find. And you'll find out he hasn't been far from you at all. At all. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, Lord. May many realize how close you are. And may we accept you and be saved. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. We'll continue with part four tomorrow. Goodbye.